Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today's video, we are going over my first experience with a puzzle lending library. This is something that is local to me, and I was really excited to find it. So I thought it'd be really fun to share my first experience with you, what it is, and then the two puzzles that I came home with. So it's just going to be a quick little video. It's raining out, the cats are crazy, but I thought it'd be a really fun one to just learn about because this is something that I didn't know was near me, and it definitely changes the game. So to start off, I want to share how I found it. I was looking for a group of people to swap puzzles with near me, and some people are about an hour and a half away, and I just wanted something really local and close by where I can just swap puzzles with people. I did try some buy nothing groups, and it just didn't work out. I needed to find another alternative. Hi guys, it's Editing Emily here, and I also just wanted to point out that yes, some regular public libraries do have puzzles. I personally have never seen it. I've moved a ton and I've never had a library that did it, but I know they exist. Um, our current one doesn't have a puzzle system. So I did want to mention that, that if this is not an option, check your regular local library because it might be. So now let's just go back to the video. Now, how I discovered this one near me, in case you were curious and wanting to find something similar near you or wanting to start one for your, yourself in your neighborhood, is that there is a website that shows all the puzzle libraries where it's more like, like one of those book ones where you are just like taking a book if you're driving by and it's like yours forever, or if you happen to have something to donate or swap with one, you can do that. Hope that makes sense. Like they have ones for books, but they also have ones for puzzles. So I was discovering that website and I noticed there were some puzzle libraries similar to that concept. They were about like an hour, an hour and a half out from where I am, which was definitely an option. So then I was looking on Facebook to see if there was maybe other alternatives that were close by. For this one though, it was a little bit different because it's a lending library where you are treating it as if it was like a book library where you are taking the puzzles, but then the concept is to return the puzzles back. Now the people who are running it have a giant library of all the puzzles in one of their garages and they rotate it into the cabinets every month or so based off the seasons and the availability of the puzzle that they have. And so you are you can donate puzzles, but you don't take puzzles in return. Um, those donations are for the puzzle library and you can again just take puzzles to use and then return them when you are done. I feel like this concept for me is really the perfect solution because I can donate puzzles when I have extra and they will have a ton of use with all the people in the area. Also if the, the puzzle library just has extra and like too many puzzles they'll donate to local groups and, and communities in the area. So I love the idea of just having like just like make sure the puzzles that I don't need anymore are getting tons of love throughout the community which is awesome. But the one thing I do love about it is that it's similar to like those rental services that I have tried but I don't have to pay anything, which is awesome. Cause I'm someone who does like to have a variety of puzzles for say Instagram pictures or specific videos. And I like that there's such a good variety of puzzles available where I can just borrow them and then return them and not to pay any money, not to deal with knowing what to do with them afterwards. Like it's just a great solution for me and I'm so excited about it. I understand this is not something that it's going to be around for everybody, but it's something that I was really excited to discover and I was very surprised with the selection that was available. So here I'll put some clips of what it was like when I first went there. Now when I discovered this library, I did reach out to the owner and I had asked about like the donations and such and how it all worked. He was really great at explaining everything to me. He was super excited that I had a ton of puzzles that I was getting rid of. And so when I went, I was so excited. I went with my mom and we ended up finding it, no problems, just at their house. And it's two separate cabinets. One cabinet is all like smaller boxes, similar to like a Buffalo Games or a Crazy Art style of box. Um, they had a variety of piece counts from 300 to 1,000 in that one, I think. And then the second one was just like all brands. Like there was a ton of Ravensburger, there was some Cobble Hill. The whole bottom was just smaller piece counts for either children or those who like a smaller piece count. So they had some that were like 48 pieces to 200 pieces down at the bottom. And then they just had a huge variety of puzzles of both type and brands and sizes. And I thought it was a really good collection of just like 
options if you are looking for something. And I do like that they do rotate it out every month or so or every season so that way you can see more puzzles and I guess often they at least once a week they're getting more donations for more options. So I just feel like it's an ongoing rotating system where I can just borrow puzzles which is absolutely awesome. They do end up um, get putting like these little stickers on here. I ended up get donating mine with the pieces bagged but if they aren't they bag all the pieces just to make sure everything's nice and tidy. I put these little stickers on here that says please return to the puzzle learning library so others can enjoy and then they have the address right there. Um, and as far as like signing things out they just do an honest system so if you're taking a puzzle they just hope that you just bring it back this is a very small private facebook group that is doing this so it's not just like random people driving by and seeing a library it's a pretty hidden and so that way if you are interested in these this program they know who is going to their house and getting these puzzles and people are apparently are pretty honest he said there's only a couple that have gone missing but usually people just bring things back because it just shares the the puzzle love throughout the community which is awesome so that's how he runs it is that you can donate things if you wanted to or you can just borrow things when you need to but always had the intent of bringing it back so others can enjoy which I I just love the whole concept. I ended up coming home with two that I was not expecting but I'm so excited because these are two that were actually on my wish list and now I can just like use them enjoy them and then send them back which is awesome and I keep saying send them back but I'm just driving to their house and returning it which is great. Now if you read the Puzzle Warehouse blogs I actually talked about this first one in my I think it was my fall puzzles video and so this one is really it's such a stunning image. Um, this is by Crazy Art and it's called Harvest God Goddess. And this image is absolutely stunning. There's the box there. There's the full image. And it's this lady who just has a ton of fruits and vegetables and sunflowers, almost like a cornucopia, but she's like this lady with all of these produce items which would be perfect for like a Thanksgiving style of video or Instagram picture and so inside just to show you it has the poster that it comes with and then again the bag pieces are bagged and just a ziplock and I love this image so much it is so it's like a lot happening. I feel like it's going to be pretty busy, but I also feel like 750 pieces is such like a perfect amount of pieces because it's not as small as a 500, which for me normally takes about two, two and a half hours, depending. This one is 750, so it's not as big of a time commitment as like a thousand piece one. So I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this one. And what I do also like is that for me, Crazy Art, even though I have loved the images that I've done so far, it's a brand that I don't typically buy new. And so I think having the option to just borrow it is perfect. Um, this second one, I think it's just so fun. And I actually saw it on our Facebook group. And this one is called Puzzle Complaints. And I love puzzles with birds. And this one just is hilarious because it's just things puzzlers say when they're not very happy with a puzzle. Um, so for example, it has, uh, it's too hard, too much white space, it's boring, it's boring. Uh, that is not a good border. There's so many fun things and I love puzzles with words and so I feel like this one is going to be so much fun. Um, it is by Workman Puzzles, which it's another brand that I wouldn't really buy new, um, but I, I think for a 500 piece count, I'm not going to have any issues and the pieces look nice and large and in charge. I'm excited about this one. Um, so those are the two puzzles I came home with. So I thought this would be a fun little video just to share my first experience with you. I am so excited about it. It is worth looking into. If you are wanting something like that, maybe you can do some Facebook searching or Googling to see if that was an option. Or I'll also put down below the link so you can see other puzzle library options that might be near you, but it's a, another different concept. You can definitely borrow puzzles like this one, but I think the concept is more like swapping puzzles in those ones. So I thought this would be a fun video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we go, I thought it'd be fun to put like a screenshot here of the full compartment. And if you see any puzzles that you thought I should try out, let me know. Very curious 
to see what you you think I would like or which ones you've done before and you've loved. So if you if you can see anything, just let me know. Um, anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.